Hey guys, welcome to my review of Blue's Helicopter Pursuit. This is one of LEGO's 2018 entries in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie lineup. Now, you can see there's a lot going on in this set. We've got a helicopter, we've got a quad bike with a trailer, we've got Blue the Dinosaur. It's a very busy set and there's a lot to do and a lot to play with and a lot to enjoy about this set. So I'm going to talk through each of the vehicles separately. I think it's probably the best approach. So let's get Blue out of the way and let's get the helicopter out of the way. We'll come back to that one in a second. So we'll start by looking at Owen's quad bike here. Now, building this, it's a really solid quad bike. Now, Lego's done a lot of quad bikes over the years and they get better and better every time. I do love how the front of this is, is detailed. Um, it's got the handlebars. There was a lot more involved than I expected. It's got the trailer on the back here. And I was about to say this is one of my favorite vehicles, but there's one thing that I really, 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 really don't like about it, which is when you're pushing them along, if you turn too sharply, the back wheels just catch on that mud guard. I don't know why, but that really annoys me. Um, otherwise, an absolutely awesome little vehicle. Uh, simple build, but looks great. Owen looks right at home on it. You can see in the picture in the background, you can put an egg in it. Really, really good vehicle. Uh, moving on to the helicopter. There's a lot to talk about in this. So you can see from here, Lego's good at helicopters. We know this. This is, I think, one of their best, though, by far, of, of this kind of helicopter. Um, for starters, we've got a few things going on. We've got our stud shooter on the side here. Again, I'm not going to fire that because I've got to go and find the pieces. Uh, we've got a man sitting in the back. I'm going to come back to that one in a second. We go around the back here. We've got our engine cowling. has got lots of detail on it up here. We've got around the back, we've got the, uh, a hook that we can swing down like that, which I'll show you going in a minute. We've also got a whole little storage solution in here that has the egg in it at the moment. It's got a tranquilizer. It's got a lot of things going on in there and it's just clips into this little bit here. It held, hold, holds well. Uh, good little bit of detailing and then working around, you can see the solid stickers on there. There's not too many stickers in this set. There's enough to make it good though, um, which is nice. It was a small sticker sheet. I know people get upset with stickers. I do, especially when I get them wrong. Uh, we've got spotlights over here and we've got the pilot sitting down the front there with his goggles on. Now, let's get down to a couple of the really cool features on this one. Now, one thing I will show you first is this, which is really nifty. You can spin the blades from the bottom. But the way they've done it is such that you can actually hold the helicopter and spin the blades from the bottom, which is really nice. So you're not limited by having to use two hands. I think that's a really great feature and I really hope Lego do that again in the future. Um, now you can see we've got some seats inside here. Now I'm gonna bring another set in for comparison here. We've got our man sitting inside the helicopter. A reason I say that is because quite often there is nowhere near enough space in a helicopter for the people to sit, as demonstrated by the police helicopter chase set. Um, you can see there's no way the minifigures are actually gonna fit in there, and that's how Lego have addressed it in this one, by using the arches like that. And I think it works really, really well. It makes the helicopter very unique and different. So, yeah, lot to like about this set in that respect. Uh, a few details, and now I'm gonna show you one feature. Let's drop the hook down here and bring in Blue's cage. So we've got this good play feature where we can pick up Blue and carry him around. Poor Blue's fallen into their trap here. which is a, a nice little build. It's kind of like the uh, cattle truck in the, uh, in the cargo train. We've got Blue in there, let's take him out for a second. You know, you've, you've got a chicken bone there because that's bound to capture a raptor. And we've got some camouflage on the, on the outside of the cage as well, which is a nice touch, I think. Um, it's a good mixture of, of technique and uh, plate build on that one. Going on to Blue, who is obviously the star of the show, so if you don't have any Lego dinosaurs in your collection, well, 
this is a good one to start with. Uh, I think the Raptor print there is really, really good. Now I've got the previous Raptor, I should have actually brought that into this set, thinking about that, speaking out loud, need to stop now. This is Blue. Uh, he's one of the stars of the movie, obviously, because um, he's got something special about his DNA. Uh, he's also Owen's friend. So, well, friend, sort of friend. Let's, let's say acquaintance, because they were working together and, and had each other's respect, I think, is probably a fair way to say. So, we'll bring Owen back in here. There's Blue. I can't get Owen to stand up, because he's got that... Big, there we go, got it to work. He's got that big crossbow. We've also got um, Wheatley, who is the guy you saw in the helicopter. Now, I have no idea what his role is in the movie. I'm not entirely sure if this is a good or a bad um, set uh, in terms of are the people in the helicopter trying to capture Blue or not? I don't know. We'll find out in the movie. But I, I will start to wrap up my review of this set because I'm starting to ramble now because I enjoy the set and I enjoy the movie so much. So... Let's bring all the pieces back in. Um, you may have guessed, I think this is a really good set. When I originally saw it uh, in the lineup, I thought it stood out a lot for me. And there's some really good play features in there. It's a great looking helicopter, I think. I think it's a really good looking helicopter. I'm really pleased I have this. Uh, there's a lot to do with this set. There's a lot to enjoy about it. And I've actually got plans to incorporate this one into my city as well. So. I'm mean, looking forward to doing more with this set. Uh, recommend it if you like the Jurassic World or you just like helicopters or you just like dinosaurs. This is a great set. I can recommend it thoroughly. Um, hope you enjoyed this review and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.